All right, so, uh, we've reloaded. Oh, we're gonna have to watch. Well, no, no, I can cut past the cutscene. So, shall we head back up to Caloride Point, or shall we leave that for later? Well, the, it's... the interesting thing is, if these side questy things were actually on the path, it would be easier to gauge how many days you Yeah, waste. so it would take one, two, three, four, and then another four back. Plus, probably... Why not one, two, three? Doesn't work that way. Really? Uh-huh. Weird. Uh-huh. That's why I was thinking we'd actually hold on to this point for a while. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's no... Do you want to go into the swamps? Because as soon as you get past that one hard dungeon, so much regular... Yeah, sure. So many regular Let's ones go to open the up lands. To Let's see if the Festerlands uh, is doable. Okay. Saturday. Okay. And we will still get that meanwhile, but the I don't know when that's going to happen. Days to explore, eight. Yeah, so we want to get to this uh, quest... Uh, not quest, this camp, as soon as possible. We so, only have one camp to work with. So do the, like, talking thing as soon as you, um... Yeah, so we'll go down, up... And then... And then we can save. Quest around. Yeah. Because yeah. since we only have one camp, I can only bring party members back once. Which is real rough. But you can save there and then only rest there later, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I can save as many times as I the want. The Croaking Ponds defeat all enemies. All deployed player combatants must survive and win without missing or having an opponent dodge once. What? Yeah, I'm never, no, I'm never the gonna dodging, get that one. Oh, it's just, okay, this is... It's more of these dudes. This is definitely doable. And a hawk, though. Those hawks have been, uh... Jerks? Yes. Also, you're scattered. Yeah, I'm trying to decide. Well, you want to see what uh, Diego can do, right? Yeah. Let's do Diego and let's do Theo. Okay. So. Of course. Silence. Yeah, so it makes it so Kay can't do anything. And then he moves back? Yeah. Huh. So Kay can move, but he, he can't back. do anything yes. else. It's Okay, annoying. she should attack one of the guys close to her. Yeah. Honestly, my plan was kind of to have... Oh, they're like these little mucky shoals that you can't walk yeah. in. Huh. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of... Uh... That must have been a fun sound. <laughs> yeah. I'm always curious about <laughs> Cletus, Bubba, Furk, huh? Ashog, Gil, <laughs> Wormfriend... Soggy slap. Miss. Man, I had to deal with too many Boy, soggy no. slaps the other night. Try. You know, with uh, the starfish. I was like, you... are you trying to say something like... No, no. This was about... Um, so we were playing my solo quest in D&D, &D, and you had pitted me against a bunch of starfish men that were, like, tiny. But they pretty much only had, what, you called them flippers? Even though they should be, like arms I don't know but you had them smacking me okay, and you're, so you kept rolling critical great. rolls too right oh over so six stacks of overconfidence minus one for each tile between the user and target so it's better that he's in closer range? yeah we have to be uh, the closer yeah, the better point. I see how this works Okay. I thought that you would actually welcome that joke. I mean, there's something odd, uh, for me at least, about you making awkward jokes. Probably uh, just as weird for you uh, when I start making weird jokes. Well, maybe I shouldn't have prefaced it by saying, you know, I had to deal with Sabi Slop. Soggy slaps the other Sloppy night. Sloppy slaps. <laughs> what? Ooh. If I we're, hadn't added the other night at the end, we then going it wouldn't have been as bad. Uncomfortable places it with been, this conversation. It would have been. Yeah, last Ooh, D and D yeah, sec yes. session. <laughs> section. I, I see uh, where we're going with wait, this. Wait, what? <laughs> it, it's. Uh, See, that's the, that's the problem. When tired is like, difficult. when it's just two dudes that are, like, just hanging out, they can 
kind of get away with making awkward jokes and everybody's just like, oh, har har. But, but I wasn't even intending for it to be awkward. A, I was thinking of it in the literal sense. Like, my like character a, was a, being smacked by starfish. When it's a married couple, it's just like, oh, there are implications here. We're not even married yet. <laughs> Close enough. Oh, I hate these guys. We've been engaged for years. Yeah, close enough. Dating for years before that. What, it's gonna be our seventh anniversary soon? Well, in a couple months. Okay, Oof. so if I do this, please tell me it's within range. Oh, to a target in range. Yeah, I suppose the difficult thing about using two new characters is that we're not quite as familiar with their skills. Huh? Yeah. Look deep into my eyes. Well, at least I already killed the bird. That's That was my main goal here. Mm -hmm. Though, honestly, all of these enemies are giant nuisances, because they all fire... Um... Let's see, is he... Okay, he... He might Strike now. be stunned. I can't tell. I think he... No, he was stunned. Okay. She's stunned. Yeah. Yeah, these guys have a really annoying... Uh, yeah, donkey kick. Stunned. That applies stunned, yeah. Uh. You just can't let them get close. They're, they're stunning everyone. Yep. And since they go faster than me... Um... Ouch. Is he... Okay, he's still at over a thousand. Yeah. I'm not too worried yet, but like half of my team is down -skied. Incapacitated. Yeah, which is really annoying. Um, Let's uh, go! Certain games have uh, a mechanic uh, called um, diminishing returns. Take this. So Where if, if you use the same effect several times over, Yeah, so if you, if you stun a person over and over and over again, it will actually... Uh, it will actually uh, heavily reduce the effects of the stun uh, to the point where it, it's negligible. And admittedly, this is a turn-based game. But It'd be I, like if you were poisoned several times during battle, and it's like, are you gonna acquire? Like, you can't really acquire an immunity that fast. But no, but like, I, I feel like, and I, it might even be programmed in. Honestly, Ooh, okay. Ah, uh, ha ho. I'll have to look into it. It might be programmed in. I, I know they have a cooldown, but like these guys, if they wanted to, could potentially. Yep, here we go. They're gonna stun him again. Yeah. Is there any way for Signy to take him out? Not easily. Okay, so there we go. Seven overconfidence. So all enemies in range increases. Ooh. Uh oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so the higher his overconfidence, the more that works. And it looks like I can just stack overconfidence as much as I want. Are you going to blitz him to use something again on those guys? No. I mean, he's stunned. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Can, can I reach? You, can you vivify him potentially with a handshake later? Uh, I can, but I'm going to have to get Strike Kate down now. that direction. Unfortunately, I kept him in the corner. I forgot that these guys would perma stunlock a person mm -hmm. if they wanted to. Yes, yes. Okay. okay, what can she do? Can she fear all of them? Um, yes. That's not how you fear them, though. No, but I have to get close. Oh, you killed one. Ancestors, this kill is for you. Ancestors, and then hear me savage roar. roar. There they go. That should work. Though honestly, I have had bad experience with uh, bad experiences with panic. Mm-hmm. Oh. So. Yeah. So they're running away, though. Yeah. Okay. So it, it does look like it works, and these guys have taken some hits. Great. See, that was nice. Oh, you know what? Panic against. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Work oh, he on... dodged that. Yeah, he dodged it, but Diego is. Uh, hurting. Wow, he dodged both of them, I think. Oh, a target dummy. That'd be fun. A distraction. Wouldn't you want to put it further away from you? Yeah, so here's what we're going to do. Target dummy. Oh, that is... <laughs> that's cute. That's some great art. Okay. And now Theo can kill one of these guys. So he's super injured. If I can hit him. 
Come on. Come on. Um, you can't move the screen down more? Watch the the UI prevent you from hitting that guy. Okay, that will hit him. If you could select it. There we go. But yes, the U Story of my life. The UI was actually making it impossible to see. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, that's one unfortunate part with tactical tactical games. Uh, if you do it wrong, it can kind of screw you up. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm actually going to have. Strike now. I'm gonna give Diego shields. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm gonna um, have her help uh, take that guy out. Yeah. <laughs> gonna take this guy out, and then I'm just going to run her up this direction. This guy will. Come after her, but she's got shields for days. Oh, interesting. The uh, the dummy doesn't actually have its own HP. It just keeps them taunted there. Well, that's good. Have them fire on them. Fire to it. Two turns. That's super useful. Okay. Uh, so what do we got? Range increasing. If that works on two of them, that'd be pretty good. Honestly, uh, well, yeah, sure. I'll hit both of them. Money shot is best when you have uh, large groups of enemies, though. Um, Seems a little uh, wasteful bye. here, but only a little wasteful. Um, yeah. But yeah, money money shot is perfect if, uh, in those situations where we have like a ton of enemies. Okay. Because it does, you know, X amount but not split across multiple targets. It just does X amount to every target. Mm -hmm. And so if his overconfidence is like 10 or something like that. I don't, I didn't even no. yes. know where his like t counter for uh, overconfidence is. Um, it's just a buff on him. I think it's uh, the, uh, I think it's the, the three. The three? Um, hmm. So if you can get that up to like an absurd number by shooting a guy in melee twice. Uh, oh, he's donkey kicking him. Yeah. That's why I've been armoring Diego, because Theo is in, in trouble, but he gets shields back per turn. Oh, but he's not stunned anymore? Well, he just had his turn. Okay. Unfortunately, if they want... Oh, no. They're not going to be able to donkey kick in, uh, him again before he gets a turn. Okay, nice. But yeah, we're all good. Let's get this over with. Yes, we get... Yeah, six overconfidence for shooting into melee. We Dude, got arcane some treasure. Lens, treasure. Not as much money as I was expecting, but hey, we'll be okay. Friendly fire is a thing. Okay, next up. Spawn and quarter. Honestly, it's actually halfway tempting to do the mumbling bog instead. Okay. Maybe. I mean, if you want to do another battle Cause without I saving. Know, I know if we uh, if we screw up the battle, we can just restart the battle. Oh, uh, yep, that's true. If we true. screw this up, uh, we have to reload further back. Right, which would be before we even entered this place. Yeah, which is... That um, makes total sense. There's no cow level. Survive eight turns without losing a single... Whoa, what? Uh, be the first party member to deal damage. So the losing a single health point's probably not gonna happen, but I don't know about the health uh, of doing damage first either. Yeah, you're starting at a line. Make sure that people are behind uh, obstacles. I'm fairly certain. Or uh, that thing can he, can he fire through obstacles like I, a tree? You though? know, I don't know. I'm gonna operate operate under the assumption of no, and except for Diego. Uh, I'm gonna line the entire party up behind that tree. Give Diego some shields. Cause I'm gonna have Diego run up and uh, try and shoot that we guy. Now, yes? I'll take a risk. Watch that count as taking damage. Wait, she takes damage from that? Technically, yes. Oh, because it's a uh, sort of like a berserker skill. The okay, there we go. Uh, we got the first damage. Honestly, we could actually... 
What's the range on this? So I gotta go for three. So if I put him here, I'll put him in the danger zone, but uh, we can hit that archer really early. Yeah, most enemies aren't Ooh. even gonna be able to get close to him. Victimized. Yep. Click, 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 click. Yeah, these guys can only shoot in a line. And yeah, he can't shoot through the tree, I don't believe. Yeah. So he's bracing himself. He's gonna try to slash Diego. Nope. Oh, he, he just was just one square too short. Yep. And zombies. Yeah, I'm actually halfway tempted to... Uh, we don't have a whole lot of uh, overconfidence right now. Do you hear Where's the voices too? On the Diego prowl. on the list. Okay. Diego's not too far. Um, I, wonder... I really like the textures on the ground. Like the swirls oh, and yeah. the circles. No, this, and... this game, uh, like visually, uh, I, I'm not exactly going to say it's a like a masterpiece, but it is quite possibly one of the prettiest hand-painted games I have ever seen. Do I mm -hmm. have to? Okay, so what's the range on this? Deals 80% of base damage and physical, plus 5% for each overconfidence deck. Hits all enemies in range. Okay. So if I move right here... Hits all enemies. Here's a little something. <laughs> yeah, that's worth it. Okay, now they don't... Mm, only one of these guys has a debuff. So that's not... S oh. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna go on the other side of this guy. Let's do bat swarm right. Is that gonna affect Signy? No. Okay, not there. It it doesn't look like it's going to, but yeah, let's just do bat swarm to this group because it blinds them. Gives sh oh, they all resisted blinded. Uh. Well, that's annoying. Well, they might not even have eyes or functional ones. <laughs> uh, the, the zombie definitely has kind of an eye. But if you notice, um, uh, now that I think about it, in things like The Walking Dead and stuff, light, does light lure them as well as sound? But I know that sound is a definite giveaway. Yeah. I mean, one way or another, these, these zambles have... They have some kind of eye. Yeah. The skeletons, not so much. But then again, they're vivified by some kind of weird magic anyway, so who knows what senses they still yes, have. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, so we got Whirlwind. Unfortunately, she's taking some hits. Yeah, I mean, you can, you but can't really fear I'm gonna, them. I'm gonna risk it in favor of doing huge amounts of damage to everybody. Okay. Ooh, Worth it. Nice. Let's okay. Go. And we're gonna have K solve more problems. Strike now. Okay, so she's taking some hits. Diego is probably the I'm next biggest concern, yet. though. Yeah, he has zero shield at the moment. Well, not anymore. Yep. I'm here. Okay. You could always do a dummy and... Look alive. Oh, should have done a dummy now that I'm thinking about it. That would have been the smart thing to do. Whatever. It's okay. There's, I mean, there's only three enemies left. Mm-hmm. So, uh, let's see. I'm gonna warp him right here. Is this the right one I want to do? Let's silence. Actually, I probably should have silenced the other guy. Oh well. Because now he can't do anything. Yeah, he can't shoot him with a bolt. Well, oh, I guess it worked out. That was the dodge. I don't like it how on dodging, uh, they still have It still makes shed. the noise? Yeah, it needs to make like a whoosh noise. You know, a very And, and the blood like, spewing. Like, uh, why? Yeah. You dodged it. <laughs> that would be the sword bleeding out of embarrassment. <laughs> I guess I'll, I don't know, boost Signy up, even though it doesn't really help that much. And back behind, <laughs> back yeah. behind the coward tree. The Whee. <laughs> but yeah, Diego, Diego's ultimate move has definitely solidified himself as uh, an incredibly solid character. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's got. So this is overconfidence. Oh, stacks up to ten times.
Okay. Undo move. Can I... If I move here, we can Cobra Shot him. Does it use up all of my... Yeah, okay, so it sets him at overconfidence It's zero. poison resistance because it probably doesn't have any kind of uh, nervous system or organic material left to really get poisoned. Doesn't you know I mean. bug me that much, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's now typically... Is Undead really only vulnerable to crushing or in dungeons, burning? In Dungeons and Dragons, uh, skeletons have resistance to slashing damage and piercing. On the prowl. But not things like poison and other what? after effects? I had already killed that guy. And we just... Oh, that's and kind of just unfortunate. Let's get this over with. <laughs> yeah. It's like repeatedly... Uh, Attacking a corpse after it's falling. Yep. It's but not you, it's me. Yay. Works out. Okay, so now we can go to the camp and we can save. And then we'll do both of the exclamation marks and then work on... Uh, oh, head for the well, exclamation marks and work on the fight. So, Fenlight Camp. The calm before the storm. If threatening signs are to be believed, beyond this point lie the Fesserlands proper. Yay, and let's see what conversation pops up. Because it's different every time we come through here. So it's Diego and Signy talking? Yeah, it looks like it. Salutations, my fair maiden. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think I need to try this one in Crucy. What, you mean the rar back or chickening out? Or I think I need to try this on Suddenly I'm Crucy. reminded of Gwen. Oh, you mean Gwen as in his sister Gwen? Yeah. <laughs> Can you try this on Crucy? Or Gwen. Which one do you want? Eh, yeah. Like, it's essentially saying that you should try growling yep. at him. So the duckling wishes to shout a dragon into submission. Greatness! I shall follow. Why, oh why, must I always be surrounded by crazy people? Why can't it... Just be something boring for a change. I'm, I'm losing it. You, you don't have a Spanish accent. No, I you have don't. Like a British accent. You need know, to be like why or why. No, that's way too close to Theo. No, he's like why or oh, why. Sort of. I don't know. Look, accents are hard, and I'm already like well past my like your threshold comfort for characters. zone for <laughs> character voices here. So to some degree. <laughs> what you 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 never watched Zorro? No. And oh. Okay. Okay, spawn and quartered. A rare chance to hit him where it hurts. While traversing through the swamp, you stumble upon a remote basin in the murkier areas of the marshlands. Bulbous, resiny boughs extend from the water, nearly every inch of them covered with glistening eggs. It appears to be some kind of spawning pool for the murkmen. What do we think? Number one? Those things are valuable. We can't or... Burn them to the ground, the less of these monsters around, the safer the kingdom, or let's not touch that and leave the spawn alone. Um. If we leave it alone, nothing happens. Right. If we start burning them, we're probably going to get attacked, and if we start looting them, we'll probably get attacked. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But, okay, so the only people that we know of who really cares about the Merkmen are, uh, like, Miri, right? Miri and Miri, I bet Miri thinks that they're gonna be some kind of burgeoning new civilization because they're starting to develop writing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Loot eggs? Why, why would you loot? They're Merkin valuable. Eggs? Let's try it. With a prancing lightness, you uh, to your step, you manage to gather everything that isn't submerged or overly fragile. Overtly fragile. Satisfied, you leave without alerting the Merkmen. So that gives us $500 reduce. Shall we reload and see if we can burn them? Okay, but... That'll probably get us a battle. It probably will get us a battle. I mean, getting $500 reduce isn't bad. Yeah. Oh, hey, you're not going to see how they talk? No, because... We're, we'll see it eventually. Um, 
Yeah, I'll try the burn. We'll see what the battle looks like, but honestly, the battle is probably not very good. With a strategically placed torch, you sit back and watch the carnage unfold. As the pile of deliciously combustible materials catches fire, you spot numerous panicked merkmen crawl out of the mangroves, all frantically trying to put out the flames, but without much success. Some of them scurry away, hideously burned. Some drop dead outright from the heat. After this crippling blow to the local merkman population, there's a good chance your current passage through the marsh will be easier. Oh, okay. Um, so... Let's reload. Let's... I don't mind... So... Is it just saying that in future battles yeah, there'll be Yeah, in future battles merkmen? in this swamp, there are probably going to be fewer or weakened merkmen. Let's... Oh, uh, you're missing all the conversations. It's just... We do that every single time we reload. We're going to have to do a new conversation. and sometimes Oh, but it's fun. You get to learn more about the characters. No, it's true. Okay, fine. We'll go back to the camp and talk to Because it was people. Alice and Diego. It was Levant and Diego. They're all... Wait, why is Levant here? Oh, yeah. I, I did bring him along, I guess. But now no one is talking. You fine. missed your opportunity. We'll, we'll reload one last time. Ah... <sighs> And I thought you hated safe scumming for conversation scumming. Hey, if it means we get what Theo and Diego, okay, here's your time to shine with all your <laughs> wondrous accents. So, consider this. Right now, I use a scythe, right? Yeah. <laughs> what if I use tooth scythes, eh? Uh, I'm not convinced. Uh, he pretty much said what you're going Come to. on! Wouldn't it be twice as awesome? Yeah, I'm gonna say no. I grew out of that phase when I was 13. Thank you very much. Mm. You're no fun at all. Everything's <laughs> better with dual wielding. <laughs> See? Kay agrees. All right, all right. It's your kid, uh, your eye kid, or finger. Whatever gets you first, uh, gets Hot. caught first. <laughs> A vampire or not, I doubt that stuff will grow back. Yeah, I, I can maybe match his tone, but that's about it. Well, you would have to be like, vampire or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that stuff will not grow back. That's still very Transylvanian from what it, sound, uh, it sounds on my end. Uh, Soggy woods. Yeah, see, it's not easy. Anyway, a um, thick overgrowth crowns the bog, shrouding, uh, shrouding the ground in gloomy dusk. But yeah, we definitely need the money. And I don't mind these fights being kind of hard. Defeat the Merkman Shaman. All the deployed player combatants must survive and win the battle in five turns. Okay, so, so if you had destroyed the Merkman, maybe there would have been, what, half as many in this battle? There would probably be less, yeah. Okay. Um, one issue is... This guy. Uh, oh, that this, guy. No. I, I hate the frogs. Yeah, I hate the frogs. Frogs are jerks. We'll see. Well, all we have to do is defeat the Merkman Shaman. You just have to defeat the Merkman Shaman in five turns. We move now, yes? So I wonder if that will just end the battle. Might. Uh. Only problem is, uh... You need to learn. Yeah, them over. it will. It will end the battle. Only problem is these guys have their kicks. There's a lot of them. But yeah, he doesn't have. He doesn't have shields. He doesn't have. Uh, really anything else. Honestly, if we have to, if we have to reload. Okay, no. That is gonna donkey kick. Um. If I have to, I might give Signy uh, the the trinket to make her immune to status effects again. Oh, you're right about that. Could you like make a target That's dummy? That's not where I was aiming. Make sure that it's somewhere where you can still get by and kill the shaman. Yeah, I was thinking I'd just toss it there. Okay. Ah, uh, the tree. Well, why don't you fire on the frog? 
Uh, cause I don't... There's no reason to do so. Ah, uh, true. He's just gonna have a lot of range skills. Oh, what's that one that's a big AoE? Um, this one? Mm-hmm. This is, uh, this Bat Swarm. Is it's not... Not gonna reach him. Nope. Yeah. Well, I can... I'll do the Bat Swarm just to get myself I some shields. It's blood. not going to do much, okay? though. Arnold. Wow, it out. pushed you. Yeah. And you're poisoned. Yeah. On the prowl. Yeah, she's gonna have to pounce, but uh, going out in that <sighs> potentially dangerous. Also, she didn't hit anyone. Uh, I probably should have planned that are. better, but that's okay. <sighs> Dodge. They dodged. Ancestors, hear me roar. I guess I'll do that. <sighs> Okay. Wait, they're not close enough to the dummy? No, only the ones near Diego oh. are close enough to the dummy. Oh, luckily they're kind of blocked in now. That one's still lured to the dummy, though. Thank no, goodness. it's just trying to get around. Now they're taunted. Whew. Okay, uh... I'm just gonna toss shields at Diego. Right at you! He, can he shoot the shaman from afar, or is uh, the other guy he, in the he way? Can, he can get close enough. Also depends on where this shaman goes. Wait, Noxious Slime? Not even... It didn't even hit Signy. No, it... Uh, Noxious Slime is a buff. Oh, okay. Okay. Cobra Shot. Oh, wow, you almost killed him. Yeah, he's almost dead. Making this... Quite possibly one of the easiest battles I've ever done. Yeah. Wow. We also got another arcane lens. Yeah. Because, yeah, the guy had no shields, and uh, all I had to do was draw his people away. Okay. Oh, party's leveled up. Yay. Admittedly, it still don't have a whole lot of things to slot in here. Stopping power is not that useful. Let's get rid of Brawler in favor of extra dodge chance. Mm -hmm. Not that we usually put K in the line of fire anyway. No, but uh, he also is the only one that can't be given shields, so mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. rough. Uh, just a bit of, no, a bit of health. If I can give him vitality, that's probably for the best. Now, any kind of like accuracy and... Oh, dodge. Hmm. Yep. Honestly, I'm just going to give them all the dodge thing if they don't already have it. Yeah, because sometimes in order to uh, maintain your health, oh, it's geez. just far better to avoid attacks in the first place. Yep. Okay. Because I think it would be more useful than just having a larger health bar in a way. Because think of the HP that you could be saving by avoiding attacks yep. versus just taking the hit. Yep. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, and then we're back at the camp. 